I've seen two positive proactive occurrences since the formation of Atheism Plus. One of them is transcribing videos. I haven't looked into it, so I don't know whose videos are being transcribed. I'm sure it's not um, Atheist Aussie or Divinity or Exiled or Proud to be an Atheist or anybody like that. It'll be the elite something is being done to transcribe some videos so that people who hear differently than the norm or do not hear will be able to access the information in those videos. It's a worthy project. The other one was this really cool thing that happened not too long after Jen McCrite announced the concept of Atheism Plus. I also would say it didn't get enough publicity. I don't think enough people knew about it. But it was to say something positive about, oh, other people online, about their work, um, what they're doing. There's a inundation of bad manners on the Internet. There's a lot of influences that lead to that, and none of them are very healthy. Saying things for shock value to get a rise out of people and to draw attention to oneself and derail whatever conversation was occurring because all of a sudden you made a loud, rude noise in the room. So I thought that was a great idea. I think that we could stand to reinforce each other's positive work, whether we agree on really basic tenets of stuff, we can acknowledge each other's humanity and change the dynamic in the atmosphere. Support, respect, instead of hate and smarminess and snarkiness. And you know, we could turn it around and it wouldn't take much effort. How many sites do you visit during a day, or videos do you watch, or comments do you see on Facebook? And how hard would it be to just type in a happy face or a good job or something? Instead, we only comment on each other's stuff when we're mad at each other. So that reinforces the whole thing. We don't have to resort to hate speech and slurs and stuff. We just keep reinforcing the negativity by doing that. It's a real ugly atmosphere if we don't do something about it. And this is such a simple thing that could be done. Once in a while somebody takes a shot at me and I I just don't respond. What's the point? I'm not going to convince them to change. They're not going to respect me because I tell them they ought to. Um, and it's their loss. If, if that's the way your mind works, oh my gosh. But again, I'm into creating a positive environment for everybody. This is nothing new agey. This is real stuff. This is basic behavioral modification and mental pattern recognition that people need to start recognizing positive patterns and things for a change. Otherwise, this whole internet thing's going to turn into a sewer real quick. And with the threats and stuff that are going on, you know, governments and stuff are going to start cracking down on what people can say. If you think I'm cracking down on your free speech by politely asking you to be polite, wait till the government's cracked down. You want draconian? I'm asking you to voluntarily be respectful. They're not going to ask. I go to the um, Atheism Plus Reddit and I see post after post after post. Uh, misogyny, woman bashing, hating feminism, and this is all completely derailed. I wasn't attracted to Atheism Plus because I want to feel like a victim of misogyny. I came because I saw it was a chance to do something proactive in addition to my atheism. I'm surrounded by poor people who, if they have any books at all, it's a phone book and a Bible. If they have any art on their walls, it's cheap plaster and plastic representations of religious symbols. Okay, Native American people. Not that I can speak for them, but I'm just going to list a couple of things. The highest incident incidence of Suicide in the United States is among Native American youth. The missionaries control the thought processes, the charity outreach, the politics of a lot of what goes on on the reservation, and just what goes on between the ears. Unprosecuted, hell, unprosecuted, they don't even find the perpetrator's rape. 
Native Americans. You want to do something, go into a reservation on food pantry day or commodities day or open a clothing bank or something wearing your atheist t-shirt. That's all you have to do. I, mean, I go into the Reddit and I see all this post after post after post. And of course the trolls now are posting too. And I'm not going to weed through all that. The same thing on that forum that um, Jen started. I see why uh, Mud Broker Brooker is uh, alarmed that there's a thread about animal rights. But that's just one person's interest who's trying to attract other people to have a discussion about that. I also saw something about, I'm not using the right word, but you know, the overthrow of capitalism. If you got energy for that, fine. I would just really like it if secular rational people showed up at a homeless shelter and didn't tell people what they should do, but ask people what they needed. Rebuilding the plumbing so that raw sewage from the second floor doesn't drip down onto the kitchen on the first floor like the shelter I was in in Louisville, Kentucky. Or that the second harvest food that we're getting isn't cream filled donuts that were so old that they were giving people diarrhea. After I got out of the homeless shelter in Louisville, I went to the Unitarian Church and I said, you know, people were handing out pancakes and scrambled eggs on Sundays thinking they were doing something like we're too stupid to be able to feed ourselves if there was food in the kitchen to eat. They were doing it, you know, to hand out Bibles and recruit. It would have meant so much to me if the Unitarian Church showed up on a Sunday to hand out some scrambled eggs to model something other than fundamentalism. I don't want to just sit around and complain about how bad the boys are treating us. What good does it do? It's focusing on the negativity. Bullies in the schoolyard, man. Somebody would t steal my lunchbox and they'd start throwing it around amongst themselves so that I couldn't reach it and I'd just walk away. And you know what happened? They got bored and put the lunchbox down. And I got to eat my lunch. Then P.Z. Myers. Some guy insinuated that P.Z. Myers is homophobic. Okay, the way you write the blog post is this person said I said this and here's the proof that I didn't. You don't link to the guy's video and give him more clicks and views. That's the point. He's a hanger on. Like girl writes what? She's a hanger on. Don't give her any attention. Somebody came into the uh, Atheism Plus group that I started on Facebook and posted a girl writes what video and wrote the comment girl writes what claims that feminism is too emotional and or atheism plus is too emotional one or the other they conflate the two so what difference does it make and it's not based on skepticism and rationality and I wrote back that we are animals and we are emotional and uh, people who are in denial about that I can't trust them because I don't think they're balanced. And people who want to pretend that we are just talking calculators that are being transported by a physical body are not, not dealing in reality. I'm thinking they're in denial. And I don't think it's healthy. And I think that we will never be able to progress as a species as long as we pretend that we aren't emotional animals. And that it's uh, very irrational to pretend that we're not. Well, I never heard from this person again, and now this person has blocked me. So if the person posts any more in the Facebook group for Atheism Plus, I won't know about it. I didn't call anybody any names or tell anybody they were foolish or anything like that. I just refuted the argument and did it well, and I got blocked for it. I'm not saying that person was girl rights what. And that's one reason I'm not using the person's name, because it might have been. Wanting to hear the truth is not necessarily part of the agenda anyway, is it now? Well, when you call people names and threaten them, that's calculated to elicit an emotional response. You know emotions are valid. You manipulate them for your own ends. And then you go, ha ha, make you squirm. People need to be starting to do really proactive projects in their local communities and so on. And I hear rumblings about that, but I'm not seeing anything um, tangible much going on. I mostly see complaining. Guess what? Academic privileged, mostly white girls who got to go to university 
this is how the world is. Surprise! As soon as you had the right to equal credit and got the right to carry a briefcase and got the right to finish a degree, you threw the rest of us under the bus and decided our issues weren't relevant. Well, guess what? They were the whole time. I'm sorry that you're surprised that life isn't fair. Now we can do something about it or we can sit around and complain about it and point out and enumerate and analyze every single time somebody's done us dirt. Or we can roll up our sleeves and start making a positive impact because I'll tell you what. Some people have real, serious, legitimate misgivings about Atheism Plus. In the meantime, there's a bunch of working class guys, mostly, on YouTube. We're going to destroy atheism and people are not going to be able to tell the difference between atheism as not believing in gods and atheism and animal rights. And it's having an influence on the rank and file. Maybe not the academics, but on the rest of us. You want to have an impact? You want to persuade hearts and minds? Get to work. Show them. Aaron, I posted Aaron Ra's video about the Leukemia Society fundraising, where if they can get $500,000 worth of donations, they'll get a matching grant of $500,000 toward research and development and a cure for cancer. It's the Doctors Without Borders, it's a marathon going on this weekend. A bunch of my friends are involved in it to raise funds for Doctors Without Borders. I posted both of those links in the forum and on the reddit. Nobody cared. <coughs> Atheists have been doing fundraising for a really long time on their own. Uh, trying to have a positive impact and doing positive public relations for atheism for a long time. Now are we going to get behind those efforts? Here's another thing. Maybe Atheism Plus is being positive for the atheist atmosphere period because maybe they'll start to feel like well maybe we could do more maybe there will be more fundraisers maybe there will be more activism within local communities to be a presence as atheists oh, I can't even imagine what it was like to have Jen's inbox and Twitter thingy and bippity bop I can't even imagine what it's like and yeah she needs to take a break so she can write a book you know she doesn't need all this upset Again, you know, emotional stuff is real. It sounds to me like the way she put it that she's got diagnosed depression and she doesn't need it triggered and she doesn't need it set off. She's got a book to write. But was it feminist horror? Brought up the really good point that Jen didn't have her comments monitored and that's not only not safe for Jen on her blog. That's not only not safe for Jen, it's not safe for the rest of us who want to comment. Let's trolls just get in there and start shooting up the joint. Not blaming the victim. I'm saying there are things we can do to protect ourselves and protect each other. And we need to put that stuff into place so there's safe space. And I don't see a lot of energy for that. I see a lot of energy for complaining about the bullies. Go into the Reddit. Go into the forum. And look at all the topics. And look at the ones that are popular. Look at the ones that get views. Look at the ones that get comments. It's real discouraging. The drama and the vitriol and the adrenaline rush. It's like an addiction. But something as simple as, hey, let's find a cure for leukemia. There's a lot of good reasons to criticize Atheism Plus. One of which is, well, this woman had this big idea and then now she's disappeared and everybody's standing around going, well, what do we do? Somebody even posted on the Reddit, oh, we'll wait for our leader to get back. And I said, I don't have a leader. I don't need a leader. We need to be self-directed. We need to do this on our own. We don't need, and I don't want anybody telling me how to think, act, and feel. That's one reason I'm an atheist. So there's a lot of good legitimate reasons for people to be skeptical of and even critical of Atheism Plus. And they're not all a bunch of woman hating, queer bashing, racist jerks, you know? They're good, honest, decent, hardworking, compassionate, caring people who are just saying, What?